Bang! Knees and abs. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and in this video we are going to go over knives that every knife collector, I'm not going to say every, but most knife collectors would love to have in their collection or have in their collection. And there's going to be a lot of knives in here so we're going to go through this pretty quickly. First I just want to make a shout out really quick. And you know, the, the knife community is a tight knit group. And I think that's, that's really awesome. And I think it's very beneficial to the, the community. And you know, it's awesome to know some of the people in the community and follow them. So shout out to El Chapo Knives. I'm going to link him down in the description on Instagram. Please go down in the description, hit that link, go subscribe to him. He's a good dude. And you should definitely be following him. Um, he's looking for some more followers on Instagram and it would definitely help him out. And, you know, like I said, and it's good for us to, to have connections with each other always, you know, like it only benefits us to be as tight as we are. So first up, this is a Spyderco Para 3. Usually a lot of times where knife people start is with Spydercos. It's usually the para two where people start and they usually get to the para three sometimes with the para three lightweight then they usually step it up to possibly a shaman um, if they're still sticking with spider co but then they usually want to start going towards the titanium frame locks and stuff like that so either one they wind up going to another spider co a titanium spider co which they do great knives, but a lot of times the quality that you can get from an overseas company, and a lot of people, they look down on some of the overseas companies, especially the ones from China, but it seems that a lot of people have really accepted Riat um, and We Knives. Now, why is it that they accept We Knives and Riat so much? Well, one, they use a lot of USA designers, um, they're in a lot of USA manufacturers or companies, you know, like that sell knives and they make great quality knives. You can't deny that they don't make amazing, amazing, amazing knives. So Riat is a lot of times a big step for a lot of people in getting a great quality knife with great materials. At, pretty much the highest level before you really get the custom knives. And a lot of times you can get them just a little bit cheaper than a USA made knife. And most collectors have or want, m most of them have a Chris Reeves Sabenza. Um, some collectors have a lot of them. <laughs> I know El Chapo, he's got a ton of them. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of the, the pinnacle of high-end knives and very respected USA made and just an amazing knife. Then also there's other Chris Reeve knives like the Om Num Zun. That's also very, very amazing. Now, just so you guys know, all the knives I'm going to show on this list are going to be production knives. Obviously, a lot of people love customs, but then a lot of people get into Microtechs. The Microtechs are awesome. This is the Microtech SOCOM Elite, an amazing, amazing knife. And then there's Hinder, the XM24. Then there's the Hinder XM18. 18, the Hinder XM18 3 inch non flipper and the flipper version. Now, these are amazing, amazing knives. But another great thing about them is they're so customizable, you know, really to make them your own, which is awesome. And then there's also the Hinder Fire Tack. This one has some burlap micarta scales. Definitely an awesome knife. That's an awesome knife too. I love the non-flipper. 
Whew, what a great knife. Then there's also the Hinder Half Track, which <laughs> there's, this is the smaller version to the full track. This one has a beautiful anodizing on it that just plays with the light and it's so beautiful. It's actually, when you clean it, it's actually blue, but then when you handle it, it starts turning more purple. What a great utility knife and yeah, just a badass knife. And I hate to backtrack a bit, but I'm going to. Benchmades, Benchmades. Everybody should have a Benchmade in their collection, USA made. And I personally love the Benchmade Griptilian with the sheep's foot, but they have a lot of great knives. This was the Benchmade 940 dash one with some flytanium scales. Protex. Protex usually do autos, but this is the Malibu, which is a manual button lock knife. Great, great knife. TRM Neutron, which is another USA made company. A lot of these knives are USA made, but not all of them. But TRM does make an amazing, amazing knife especially for EDC. Another elite knife that uh, isn't made in the US, it's actually made in Russia, Custom Knife Factory. They um, have a lot of USA designs and you know, a lot of just designs period, but they make a heck of, a heck of a knife. They usually do short runs of them, so they send extra hardware with them. This is the, the M, pad very very awesome and custom knife factory is kind of like um an elite production knife when it comes to high-end materials and fit and finish work and just knives in general they're about as close as you can get to a custom in some ways that's why a lot of custom knife makers use them you know, to, to OEM their work. Then there's the Strider. This one is the Strider AR. There's a lot of different Striders out there, but then a lot of times when people think of Strider, they think of this one or possibly this one. But this is one that is actually made by Medford. And yeah, really awesome. And you got the North Arm Skaha, which whew, this thing is so amazing. Extremely hard to get, but absolutely amazing. The North Arms Skaha. Then you have the Demco knives. Um, a lot of Demco's work has been done by Cold Steel. Um, but he also has his custom knives and his own line. This is the Demco AD15, which Cold Steel does make a production knife as, which is extremely, extremely similar, or if not, you know, exactly the same as this, just a little bit different materials. But I also have the Demco AD20. I just don't have it here, so I'll throw in a couple pictures. And yeah, the AD20 is also another amazing, amazing knife. This one, the AD15, this one happens to be the Joker edition. Then you got the Spartans. Spartan makes USA made knives that are beasts. They are amazing. I love this one. This one is the Spartan Harsey folder with the Mayan calendar and I absolutely adore this knife. Such a badass knife. Then you have Olamic. This is the Olamic Whipper Snapper. Such a great front flipping knife. Olamic makes a bunch of different models. This one actually comes in a couple different blade shapes and these are customizable. You can get them basically however you want. Lots of different finish work and 
different colors, all different kinds of things you can do to these knives. And like I said, they also, this one comes in a couple different blade shapes. I personally like this one the best. Easy, easy front flipping action. The Olamic Whippersnapper. Then you got knives like Medford, Straight Beasts. This is the USMC Fighter. And this is the Slim Midi, which the new ver the new ones are on bearings, which I'm extremely, extremely happy with. This one just looks so beautiful. Like most Medfords or all Medfords, um, they are very customizable as well. And then you got, this is another company from Russia, the Shuro Goroffs. I love these Shuro Goroffs. This is the Shuro Goroff F3R, the most comfortable knife in the world, in my opinion. The pocket clip just works so good. This one's on double row bearings. Extremely, extremely smooth, amazing action. Then this one is the Monkey Edge Frag Pattern, the F95 with triple row bearings. Whoo, this thing is so nice. Love, love, love this one. This one's extremely, extremely comfortable too. But this one just having the contouring you know, this one's hard to beat for comfort. So, you know, this, it just really says how comfortable this one really is. Amazing, amazing knives. Whoo. Love that frag pattern, man. That frag pattern is so beautiful. And then we'll just pull out one more, which is a Japanese made knife, the Rockstead. This is, let me wipe it down. Wipe it down, wipe it down. This is the Rockstead Higo. Beautiful, beautiful knife. These things have a zero grind, basically a convex um, mirror ground. They don't have a regular edge bevel. It, uh, the whole angle right here goes down to a zero ground edge. So it's extremely, extremely sharp. Rockstead makes a bunch of different knives, but their heat treat is something special. They heat treat their steel to a very high HRC, which makes them easy to strop and, you know, helps with the edge retention. And yeah, just the, the quality of the heat treat is really good too. And there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was entertaining. Peace.